Right then, part full of urban exploring, early gold fingers, brownfield estate, and in the first three parts I managed to get around most of it, but not all of it. So before watching this video, to get a feel for this estate, please see parts to one to three of urban exploring, early gold fingers, brownfield estate. So then, this is part four, let's get to some parts we didn't manage to get to last time, and let's go on the roof of Glen Carey House again, and we managed to get into the boiler room, the weird boiler room that's got all glass around it, looks like a viewing area, not a boiler room. Why the boiler room right up the very top of the building with big glass windows just be used for a boiler it's such weird architecture but yes we managed to get in it so let's take a look around the boiler room Now, a couple of months later, after I'd filmed that, I returned back to Ernie Goldfinger's Brownfield Estate and go along to Balfron House. And it looks like some very sad news indeed is being closed down. That's right, the awesome, rare architecture with bridges across every three floors from the lift tower to the main tower, that amazing architecture all shut down. And this is because most of the brutalist architecture in London is considered really rough and grotty and no one likes it. But for some reason, this particular set of brutalist architecture is considered to be really posh and desirable. And because of this, typical council wanted to make money out of it and they've moved out all of the standard council housing out of this block and they're completely refurbishing it to turn it into posh twats housing just typical a nice bit of architecture designed as council housing now just used for posh twats just because it's become desirable to live here typical so then let's go and climb on the scaffolding of Belfron house in the night time 